What's up guys, the day is here. We're gonna look at the pro ledges, the two options we have for the P365X macro. Um, real quick, wanna just go over some of the main differences on these versions. So we've got one here with no light on it, specifically designed not to run a light because adding another, uh, adding something to the rail is gonna lower mounting another light to it. So your light's gonna hang down just excessively low. Uh, it's going to make it harder for holsters, make it harder for everything to activate switches. And then we have the version that integrates the clamp on the TLR 7 sub for the 1913 um, rail. So this is the one that you want to grab or want to look at more if you're grabbing, if you plan on carrying a light on your macro. And if you're not going to run a light, you want to go ahead and check out this one. And we'll just give you kind of a little, little bit more details real quick. So this one... You're getting the pro. You're getting the pro ledge. This is a lefty version right here, um, and you're also getting um, kind of that index. That oh, I'm not left-handed, so this is like okay, left-handed. So you get that finger index right there, that kind of uh, textured spot, if you will. Let's see if we can get that um, centered there, that textured spot on there for your finger. Um, and again, this one will come in the right-handed version also. I just use the lefty one because I'm going to burn one up installing it. Can't sell it. And there's just a lot less lefty uh, people out in the world. So there you are. You're still getting your pro ledge. You're still getting the ability to mount accessories. Again, I would not recommend lights. We'll show you once we go to the tabletop how low these lights will hang on this. But... You do have that option still if that's something you want to do. But ideally, I wouldn't. It is mostly there if you want to mount some kind of training device or, or something like that, something lower profiled. So that's that one. And then here we are with the TLR7 sub 1913 sub. We got to make sure to clarify that. This one's designed for the 1913 sub because of the way that it integrates the clamping. Boom. Let's get better in focus here. Let's go ahead and answer some questions while I got you up here. So this version will only work on the macro. No other gun specifically designed to fill the void of the macro grip module. So I'm not saying any macro like Icarus macro or Mischief Machine macro or any other macro. Just the SIG macro. That's it. Boom. No other frame will that fit on. This one, however, will fit on other frames and we'll list them in the product description. So check out the product description. It's on our website. We can't post direct links. I don't think YouTube is very happy about that anymore, but we will list lights that are uh, frames that it's compatible with. I have tested it on the Mischief Machine and some of the Icarus, they have so many variants, it's hard to say yes or no. Um, but basically, if it does not have the, the little built-in tiny sharp ledge, then it should work but we again we will list it in the product description and we'll try to link over to the icarus website and the mischief machine websites and other websites of guns different guns yes it's not it's a 1913 clamp this will fit and work on other guns and we'll continuously update that on the website on which guns and which frames this works for boom that's the kicker right there guys other guns will this fit on that's a good thing some of the other questions people have already asked is holster support of course you're gonna have to get a different holster yes it's probable you can get it to just fit in your holster by heating it up if you're if you're capable of doing that do it yes it will fit on current uh pro ledge holsters that we make that we not we make but that others have made if you're going from the XL with our pro ledge in the same light to a macro pro ledge with the same light, it should be very close. So not saying it will fit, but it'll be close enough that buy the ledge, try it out. If it doesn't, then try to find a holster that will work. So yeah, that's kind of the, the answer there. Not a direct answer, but it is an answer. The other question is, will we make it for the other lights? TLR 7A. No, it does not have a clamp there. We cannot make it for the TLR 7A. It's not going to happen. Um, will we make a lefty in this version? I've got it right here. 
This is the lefty version for the light, but unfortunately, um, the 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 screw that's in there, the it's just it's it, it's got some issues that we're trying to work out. We're trying to make it happen, but we didn't want to wait any longer. We got these in. We want to launch it. So stay tuned, lefties. Other questions that you would have? Yes, that's another one. It will require the key that we make for the macro. It, just regardless of the light. You want that key, it won't require it, but if you want it to sit in the right position, yes, it will require it. Um, we, we made a key for the TLR7 sub 1913 that puts the light all the way back up to the trigger guard so that it's not sticking out as far, there's less gap, and our key is actually a little bit oversized than the Streamlight keys so that it's a tight fit. So even if your screw loosens up, you shouldn't get as much movement as the uh, OEM keys. So, before you answer, ask questions, just check the link, go to the website, look at the product page. We try to answer everything we can there. We're really hard to try to get everything on the product page because we're not a giant support company offering support for everybody. We don't have a call center in other countries. We don't, we have me and one other guy and sometimes one other guy that comes in uh, here and there to help, help do assembly, so. Please check the website, check the product page, watch the video. If you're watching this video, you watch the video, but read the product page. We're trying to get as much information in there as possible so that we don't have to spend all day doing support so we can spend more time creating products and getting them shipped to you. Boom, thanks guys. Question time's over, just kidding. Let's drop questions, we'll try to answer them in the comments. Woo! So there we are guys. We're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at the tabletop and give you an update on, on that. All right guys, let's go over the install on the Pro Ledge for X Macro. It's kind of what we're calling this one over here. It is the Pro Ledge designed specifically for and only for the X Macro. Um, you're gonna get it in two pieces like this in a bag. It's gonna have the nuts already seated and it's gonna give you three bolts and an extra nut in case you strip them out or lose one. Um, it is not gonna come with an Allen key. If that's something that you don't have a proper set of Allen keys, we offer them as a single one buy. It's $2, but I suggest just buying a kit that has the 1.5 M Allen key or the uh, 1.6 millimeter Allen key. Um, so here we are. We got the two parts here, and if you look at it closely, you're gonna see it's keyed specifically for the macro. And I'm gonna show you here. This part's gonna go right on. It's gonna fill in all the holes here on the rail, and then you're gonna go ahead and put the other piece right up to it. And there, it's, it's tight enough kinda to hold itself, but we're gonna go ahead and put the bolts in. Just gonna drop them in there, push them in as far as you can push them, and then just start threading. Pretty simple, same as our other pro ledges or our other tactical application rails. Um, and again, these don't need to be torqued on. It's really just holding it from falling apart because it's got the key, it's got the, it's grabbing on to every single rail in the pick rail. So it's just, Kind of finger tight, not to go crazy. And then there you are, done. This is, again, this is the lefty version. Righty will install exactly the same, just parts will be on the opposite side. Oh man, I am not a person that grips guns left-handed. I need to practice more left-handed, a little off-hand shooting. If you're gonna ask, this is a Norso slide. It's pretty cool, love the like rough look of it. I haven't put some sights on it yet, but we're, we're getting there. So that is the Pro Ledge install for the X Macro. Again, only fits the X Macro, does not fit any other frame, only the SIG branded macro frame. Uh, let's go look at the TLR7. So we're calling it here TLR, or sorry, the Pro Ledge for TLR7 sub 1913. We're calling it that because it is not specific to the X Macro. Um, we will start putting in the product description which lights it fits on so that you can possibly run it or 
share that with others. But again, in my opinion, it is the best option of the two. If you look here on how low this would have to sit. So if you look at that, that's that's a TLR7 sub on the X macro. That's one, so you can kind of look at the lines here. This is just like a straight line across. And then this one is dipping down a little bit. I, I kind of hope to hold it because I don't have the other side of the clamp. But, so it's not horrible. So if you're running a different brand light, it's not a horrible experience, but it is different. And it is not as ideal, in my opinion. I, that's why we specifically designed this one up to replace the the clamping mechanism of the TLR7 sub. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I don't have the back side of this because I've I've got so many prototypes that kind of misplaced it, but we're gonna take the key out, we're gonna take all this out, we're gonna grab a 564 Allen. We're gonna take these screws out right here. Don't lose the screws. Do this over top of something, maybe even something magnetic, maybe a little magnetic tray so that you can not lose these in your carpet. So just back them out. Boom, bitty, boom, boom, boom. Dropping it in my magnetic tray here. Again, it's on Amazon. Don't even know what it's called. I'm not gonna put the link somewhere, just Amazon, bench block, blah, 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 something like that. There we go, it's out. We're gonna take this clamp, we're gonna take that out. We're gonna set it aside, we don't need it, because now we're gonna go ahead and install this. And look at this, look at that, how tight that fit is, guys. I want you to just, just be aware, if I try to put this in crooked, it's gonna look like it doesn't fit, it's not gonna fit. I've gotta put it in directly straight, and it's a tight fit. I like tight fits, I'm not being sexual, but I am, um, it's just, it's going to be a better experience. It's going to have less. It's going to have less. Um, shoot, I can't think because now I'm thinking sexual. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just going to have less. Uh, less of it's being held by the bolts. Aren't taking all of the. Um, the weight. Of the clamp. So, didn't tell you, but I put the bolts back in, and now I'm just threading them back on. This one's obviously crooked, so make sure you have to you have to back it out and put it back in. That is important to get those in straight. Should be able to tighten these down to where these bolts are flush the outside of the pearl edge that you just put on. And I would recommend a little blue Loctite on those threads, though I haven't experienced them backing out. So there we are, a little flush, flush set up here, and then we just put it back together. Put our key, if we're putting it on an X macro, we get our X macro key, or depending on what gun we're putting this on, put it on, and then you just mount it exactly like any other TLR7 sub. And I'll show you that here, guys. I went and grabbed my official tool. It is a American nickel. It is just the perfect size. So I have a bunch of these lying around the shop. So there we are. So here's the one that's installed and has the back clamp on it. I tightened it down. And what you do with the normal light, you know, to back that out to where it's still holding on to that side of the clamp. And then go ahead and grab your, your pistol, line it up where you want it, well, where the key is gonna let it sit. And there it is, it's, it's pretty simple, guys, just like mounting the light. And now just hold it on there and tighten it down. Uh, I used to use a quarter, the quarter is a little bit skinnier and so it tends to slip a little more than a nickel. A nickel is the perfect fit. Um, and then you can get it tight enough so that there's zero movement.
and you're ready to, to test that out. So there we are, guys. That is the Pro Ledge for TLR7 Sub 1913. Um, and with that, maybe some other questions might be, will we make a Pro Ledge for TLR7 Sub SIG? Hmm, it's possible. We are working on it. Will we make a Pro Ledge for TLR7 Sub Glock? Possibly, we have something in the works. Um, and so yeah, stay tuned guys for, for further products. Restock on anything you hear that you say is out of stock. It's happening. We try to keep everything in stock. And we, we offer uh, email or text if it's out of stock and it come, when, it, when it comes back in. So check that out. If you have any questions that's not, on the, not answered on the product description, go check out the product page. And then if you still don't find the answer, reach out to us and we can even update your question. Put it on the product page to verify that so that we can continually improve the product page with answers to more questions.